Hello everybody, Janet Krupen here, coming to you live from the whole wide world! Just kidding. So thanks to a suggestion from Ann Spillman and a whole bunch of modern technology, we were able to reach out to our alumni from the last 20 years from around the world. Everybody sent in videos, and it's really cool to see what everybody is up to now. Check it out. Hi. My name is Drake Karen, and I'll be auditioning today with the Broadway seminal hit, Think of Me. Oh, Happy 20 years, ACT! Um, just send in my love. I'm so proud of you guys keeping this organization going. Hello, my name is Bryce Erlinson, and I'd like to tell you that the Academy of Children's Theatre helped to make me the confident, creative, and capable individual that you see before you here today. How you doing? And I'd like to ask you to please give ACT all of your money. Because if it weren't for them, I personally wouldn't have been able to land the amazing and lucrative job that I did here in Seattle. And I certainly wouldn't have had the self-awareness or gumption to quit and start my own business a year ago. So happy one year anniversary to me, and happy 20 years to you, ACT. Hey, it's Katie Krupen here. I am currently in grad school teaching kids to love nature and care for their communities and ecosystems. Um, there's no way I could be doing what I'm doing now without ACT. The confidence it takes to get up in front of kids and teach every day, the ability to think on my feet and be flexible and improvise all the time, uh, along with the ability to integrate storytelling and the arts into education to make it more engaging and fun. Um, I got all of those things from my years at ACT, and I'm so grateful. So, happy 20th anniversary, ACT. Hi, my name's Graham Clem, and my very first Academy of Children's Theatre production was A Christmas Carol in 1995. Uh, that was my first play, period, and I went on to perform in over 30 other plays in the next eight or nine years. My entire family got involved. It's a huge part of my life. I can't thank Academy of Children's Theatre enough. I can't overstate what a big part of my life ACT has been. Hi, my name is Stephen Reed, and I love the Academy of Children's Theatre. My first show was Winnie the Pooh, where I played Christopher Robin. Shocker, I know. There is no way that I could have gotten to where I am today without the confidence and collaboration skills that I learned while working on stage and behind the scenes with the Academy of Children's Theatre. I'm currently the speechwriter for United States Senator Maria Cantwell. Hi, uh, my name is Steve Lee. I was involved with the Academy of Children's Theatre from the ages of 13 to 19. The first play that I was ever involved with was It's a Wonderful Life. Um, the play I had the best time being a part of was The Phantom Tollbooth, and my most notable role was Charlie Brown in You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. Um, currently, uh, my wife and I are small business owners and entrepreneurs. Uh, the Academy of Children's Theatre provided opportunities that for me, that my family wouldn't have been able to afford to participate in otherwise, and put me in situations where I was able to learn with kids from all over the community, from all different socioeconomic backgrounds and, and all different ethnicities and, and faiths and all that. And that experience helped shape who I am as an adult immeasurably. So Hi, my name is Amy Ballard, and my maiden name is Amy Seidel. My very first ACT show was How to Eat Like a Child, which was the first show ACT actually ever performed. I was in numerous shows there with ACT as well as my brother, Mark Seidel. And I now am teaching high school choir in Bonnie Lake, and I'm also directing the musicals Bonnie Lake. I actually also helped direct some musical programs during the summer at ACT, and I was the music director for a local community theater company called Main Stage Theater. Um, I appreciated ACT because ACT gave me all the knowledge I needed for theater before I even got serious about it, but it was a fun way to actually learn a lot about theater. Hi, I'm Peter Clem. You may remember me from such roles as Urchin in ACT's first rendition of A Christmas Carol and Milo in Phantom Tollbooth. I'm currently working as a lawyer in Portland. ACT taught me so much. It taught me the importance of hard work and responsibility. And if it weren't for ACT, I'd probably still be terrified of speaking to other people. I'm so happy to be able to call so many of you friends, even two decades later. Thank you very much for all you do. Happy birthday, Academy of Children's Theater. 20 years is a huge freaking deal. 
Uh, my name's Matt Hanley. For those of you who don't know me, I was involved with Troop and did a ton of ACT shows about, well, I don't know, a long, a long time ago. Uh, but it was a great time. Some of the best memories I have about being a teenager in the Tri-Cities tied directly into ACT and what I got to do with them. Hey ACT, um, it's Grayson Stamps. I currently live in Hollywood, California. The first show I ever did with ACT was Cinderella. And Linda Hoffman is the director who's currently no longer with ACT. She's living it up in the sun in Florida. Um, I'm actually a working actor here. I'm in a show right now with Barbara Bain, which is always exciting, and with James Franco as the producer. I'm also in final callbacks for two very big projects. One's a uh, TV series musical, and the other one is a feature film. So wish me the best of luck. Hopefully I get them and can spill all the beans in February. Um, they're going to be very exciting projects, whether I'm in them or not. Hi, my name is Melissa Thornton, used to be Melissa McFarlane. My first show with ACT was Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I was a little Oompa Loompa. Haven't grown much since then, but we're working on it. Um, now I live in Los Angeles, California. I work for Menchie's Global Headquarters. It's a frozen yogurt company. And I work as a corporate trainer. So I actually train franchisees how to run and operate their own businesses, which is pretty crazy. I love ACT because it's where I grew up. I just love how open they are to helping you express your creativity and really inspire you to try anything you might be interested in. They always encouraged me to try choreography, teaching classes, uh, anything like that, and it was just really fun. So I love ACT and I hope that they are forever part of the Tri-Cities community. Nowadays what I'm doing is I'm an emergency room nurse in Los Angeles, California, um, and I might actually even go back to acting soon. So um, I take little breaks here and there, but a couple years ago I was in a, another production um, with CBC and you know, ACT taught me the value of, you know, just being able to join a community wherever you can make one. So, thanks for that. Hey everybody, my name is Noah Hunt, for those of you who don't know. And, um, I did ACT, um, back when I was living in Tri-Cities. I live in LA now, um, and my first show was Charlotte's Web. I was a duck and a fair goer, and, uh... Janet Crouppen helped me audition for that. I sang uh, a song from The Lion King. <laughs> um, seems like forever ago now, but it uh, still holds a very special place in my heart. So keep up the great work, guys. Thank you so much for everything that you've done for me and my dreams, and I hope it's just doing the same and better for all, the, all of you that are in plays and, and you know, uh, being involved with everything right now. So bye, guys. Uh, this is Heather Kenyon. <laughs> For those of you who don't know me, because many of you uh, who are ACT supporters came well after my time. I live in Chicago, Illinois now, and I'm so grateful for all that ACT taught me. I think the best lesson is when I was in college or just graduated, Heather Steech, who was the education director, I think, back then, told me that I should write the curriculum for some of their basic classes. And I was like, there is no way I can do that. And she's like, no, you know it. You can do it. So you're going to do it. And she hired me to do it. And it, that skill of agreeing or realizing I can do something even if I don't necessarily 100% know I can do it before I start has served me very, very well in my life to this day. So happy 20th birthday, ACT. Uh, come see me next year and I'll take you out for a cocktail. Hi, ACT. This is Kristen Blair Guerrero and I just wanted to say congratulations on 20 years of changing lives and making dreams come true. I know you will always have a very special place in my heart and I am forever grateful. Hi ACT, this is Kathy Sampson. Um, I'm living in Washington, D.C. I work for an organization called the Elizabeth Glaser Pediatric AIDS Foundation. Um, we support HIV prevention, care, and treatment services focused on mothers and children in Africa. Uh, I think my first show with ACT was, I think it was one of the first performances of A Christmas Carol 
way way back um and then since then i just i think i did a couple shows a year i was really involved in pretty much everything act had to offer i student directed i worked backstage i ushered i was on the play reading committee that we had at the time to help pick the shows that we would perform i think i really love act it gave me a lot of opportunities that i wouldn't have had definitely um, anywhere else, both to, you know, explore theater and explore the opportunities there, but I think also just to um, be in an environment where you're really surrounded by people that you wouldn't be otherwise. You work with, you know, people of all different ages, you have a lot of good adult role models, um, and you're also a role model to some of the younger kids that you're working with. Hi, this is Kimber Lancaster, and I am in New York City, you kind of see it here in the background. And I'm making this video because I'm only in New York City because of the Academy of Children's Theater. So my first show with ACT was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and I played Baruch Assault. And what do I love about ACT? Well, for a small town, it gives children and kids who were like me a place to learn and a place to play and a place to start building experience with people who share similar interests and gives them a venue to kind of figure out if that's something that they want to do for the rest of their life and for me it was so now I'm in New York hair blowing and I'm actually headed to an audition so you can thank ACT for moving me across the country mom and dad um but I wouldn't have it any other way. Hey everybody, uh, Jake Abrams here, uh, ACT alumni. Um, I'm really excited that Janet asked me to send in a video as uh, one of the uh, one of the old timers. Um, it's crazy that we've all been actors for 20 years. Um, that was kind of a, a shock when I heard it was the 20 year reunion. But um, yeah, I'm very happy to send this video. I wish I was there to see what everybody else is doing. Maybe I'll get to see the uh, the compilation of this video or something, because that'd be awesome. Anyways, I can't say how invaluable ACT has been for me in my life. Um, it was definitely a home for a bunch of little weirdos like me and all of you to go to um, and uh, express ourselves, and it's been awesome. I'm still an actor. I live in New York, in Brooklyn. I've been here since 2005. Um, working on a play right now, and I just finished a movie. Um, which was super exciting and super fun. I love what I do, what we do. And uh, yeah, like I said, I just would love to know what everybody looks like and what everybody's doing. I'm kind of jealous. Um, but, you know, anyways, so yeah, that's what I'm up to. That's what I'm doing. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying life. And, uh, okay, thank you. Hi, my name is Jordan Vance, and my first ACT show was You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, where I had the opportunity to play the part of Linus. I remember my good friend Kristen Blair told me about the audition, and I remember feeling over the moon when I found out I got the part. I, I just recently moved to the Tri-Cities, and I didn't have a whole lot of friends there. So I remember when I first met the cast thinking to myself, these are my people, I finally met them. They're like-minded, and they're talented, and they're so creative, and they're hilarious. So I'm so thankful for ACT for providing me this awesome network of friends and support and, and really making me feel like I was part of a community in Richland. Um, so I'm thankful to ACT for providing me such amazing experiences and, um, and such an amazing creative outlet during an important time in my life. Uh, a community of people that I'm still so close with 15 years later. So today I'm actually living in New York City where I work in marketing for American Express. And I can say without a doubt the skills I learned ACT, such as confidence and team building and personal accountability, all of those things are so helpful and have been so important in helping me get to where I'm at um, and to be successful in my career. So I just want to thank ACT for doing such mission critical, such important work to really expose kids to new ideas um, and really help build lifelong skills that, that they'll carry with them. So thank you, ACT. Hey, ACT. Hello from Prague, Czech Republic. 
Um, I got started with ACT in 2007 when I moved to Washington um, and I was just starting high school and we kind of just looked for a community theater and we walked in and Ann Spillman was there and um, the kind of the rest is history and we started auditioning um, for shows, me and my sister Kelsey. And um, from there, ACT has just really, I think, helped me become a better person, the person that I wanted to be. Um, ACT has constantly surrounded me with people that I feel comfortable enough to be my entire self around. Um, so while that helped me in high school, it's still helping me today because it's allowing me to be more open to expressing myself as well as being more open to the people around me. So thank you so much ACT and congratulations on the anniversary. See ya. Congratulations ACT on 20 years. This is Christina Heising or Christina West and I was in ACT from about 1997 to 2002 I think and I did acting all the way up until my first year of college but then I stopped and now I live in Tokyo, Japan and I've been here for five and a half years. I teach English to mostly six-year-olds and I, I don't do any acting but I do teach the kids acting and we do musicals every year for their graduation which is coming up in March and this year we are doing Jungle Book which is so cool because one of my favorite characters for ACT was being Ka and way back when <laughs> so I wrote the script this year and we're doing dancing and singing and it's just a lot of fun to be able to share that with the kids and it's a great way for them to learn English and I can share what I learned and what helped me as a child and I can show them so congratulations once again and keep on changing lives bye from Tokyo Wait, 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 we didn't get to do what I'm up to now. Okay, so after um, a couple Broadway shows and a movie that went to Sundance, um, ever since then I've been working on my original material, I did an EDM album, and now I'm going back and forth between New York and LA figuring out what the next great adventure is. Um, I also got to go to Scotland this year and do Rent, which was awesome. And uh, Hey Janet, uh, weren't you supposed to be performing about now? Were you? <laughs> 